who wants to watch a motivational video about being an adult. No, don't leave, don't leave, it's just a joke, I'm joking, it's just a joke, don't click off. Everyone knows that being an adult is really freaking hard. Maybe being an adult, pretty much just being alive at this point is just really hard, having to drag yourself out of bed and just... First thing for me every day after dragging my ass out of bed is to go to the bathroom and look at myself in the mirror and realize it's not getting any better than this. Actually, I usually go pee. Good. Step one is complete. Do not shave. It's not worth it. Ever. Step two! Now everyone knows breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And to really start off breakfast, you need to do it right. You need to have something good for you, like like eggs or pizza. Yes, definitely pizza. Pizza's the, pizza's the way to go. And remember, since it is the most important meal of the day and you don't know when you're gonna eat next, you should probably have another piece after you finish this one, just like that. Now, after eating, you know, a wholesome breakfast, you gotta make sure you clean up after yourself because it, you don't want ants or to be rude to your roommates. But most importantly, you don't want ants. Proper disposal is important. Perfect. Step three. Step three after you've eaten a great wholesome meal is take a shower. Or don't. I'm not gonna judge you. The important thing is to use the smellometer scale. Now it goes off a one to ten scale. Ten being you just were in a pampering long giant bath. Like in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is that giant bath. That's ten. Now zero is the homeless guy that's across the street just sitting doing nothing and smelling off. Now you want to be a nice in-between level because you don't always have to be a 10 but you never want to be a zero. So first step is always check yourself. You gotta sniff. Sniffing is important. You gotta hostel gato it. If anyone doesn't know who hostel gato is, you're doing life incredibly wrong. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna smell yourself and make sure you smell fine. You need a solid five because you're not doing it for people. You're not doing it to attract the... the Whatever woman you're trying to attract, your guy or your animal, you're not trying to smell good for anyone else. You're trying to smell good for animals. That may sound weird, but no dog wants to come up and be petted by someone who smells like a salt too. You need to be like a salt five on the smell scale if a dog's gonna let you smell like you. I don't really think it cares if you smell you. Because dogs don't really smell good. That's a weird radius. You know, maybe you just don't need to shower in general. Try to smell okay for doggo. It's worth it. After you may or may not have showered because smelling, smellometer rating is whatever it is, you gotta head back to your room. Now, don't mind the mess in your room because remember, cleaning day is on. And since it's, you don't need to worry about that. Ignore the hammer sitting in the corner. Ignore the toaster oven with a hat on it because that's a whole different story. Ignore the fact, is that me dancing in the corner? Also, how am I that tiny? You know what, we're just gonna move on. This is it, this doesn't matter. The important thing is to realize why we're in the room because I kind of just forgot for a hot second. The important thing is to realize that you need to get dressed. What you're wearing is the first thing people are gonna notice and you only have one chance to make a first impression. So you wanna look nice. Dress shirt or a white shirt, something that, you know, says, I'm ready, just like that. Or, or, you wear jeans that you haven't washed in and you don't need to tell anyone how long it's been. Dragon Ball Z tank and glasses. You can't forget the glasses because this is what makes you look sophisticated. If you didn't have the glasses on, you just look like garbage. Perfect, so now you're dressed, you ate breakfast, you have Tucker, didn't take a shower, you may or may not have shaved, whatever it is, you're ready to take on the world. You're ready to go out there, go to work, meet a girl, get married, do things, Realize it's a Sunday, don't leave the apartment, take all the clothing off, go sit in your bed and watch Netflix. Because sometimes you need a Sunday that you just do nothing. Being an adult can be really hard. It can be very stressful. Having a job and everything, going from a school environment to being on your own, any environment you're in can be difficult. And you need to realize sometimes you really do need a lazy day that you just do nothing. It really can be hard kind of being on your own and doing your own thing. Everything I've said kind of sounds like a joke and it really is a joke. I don't really think any of you should follow any single one of these rules. I just did. I'm looking at you. You, yes, you're right there. You need to not do that ever. Stop, change, put on clothing. Put on clothing. Good. The reason I made this video is to tell you guys just to slow down, realize it's okay. Don't overthink things when you're getting ready in the morning to go out. Don't just 
Some days you're gonna eat pizza in the morning, and some days you're not gonna have time to shower, and it's okay. But the most important thing is to make sure you don't go out wearing a Dragon Ball Z tank. I think we can all agree that's just the worst idea ever. It's just, it's just not a good idea. But anyways, back to the toaster oven with the hat. 